All right, so I have a HP 14 inch Chromebook here. Um, the issue with this computer is that it is not having a responsive keyboard and touchpad. So the touchpad is not working and the keyboard has certain keys that are not working at all, as well as reading false responses. So if you hit the Y key, it hits multiple letters. Uh, if you hit the B and the N key, they don't work whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the computer to inspect it internally to see if there's any kind of internal damage such as water damage uh, or if reseeding the internal cables might actually help me. So in this video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to take that part to that point and we can go ahead and see the internal components. So to start with you can see all the screws here. There's three along the back, two in the middle, and then four along the bottom uh, in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and just start by removing these screws. So the second stage of it is finding the hidden screws. You can see right here, right in the middle, there are two rubber bumpers that you can remove using a pair of tweezers. Any pair of tweezers will work, or you could use a flathead screwdriver to kind of dig in there and pry it out. They don't come out that easily on your first go. I've taken this apart once before, uh, so I do know, I've already kind of gotten the adhesive loosened, uh, but the adhesive is gonna be pretty strong on your first time around, so do be aware of that. Uh, so those two in the middle are removed, which exposes two more screws. However, while I have the tweezers, I'm gonna go ahead and expose these two back bumpers as well, but it also hides another set of screws. So now all four of those are exposed. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. You don't necessarily have to keep track of which screw goes where. All screws on the underside of the computer here do appear to be the same length. Uh, from, from what I can tell when they're all laid out, I have them on my magnetic mat to the side. Um, but you can't really tell a difference between the lengths here at all. So you should be able to universally use them anywhere. Okay. So the next stage of it is removing the top panel of the inside of the computer. So the inside of the computer here, we have, unfortunately because the Chromebooks automatically turn on, remember to hold the power button to turn it back off. And then go ahead and use a prying tool. You can use a flathead screwdriver to pry this top casing up. Uh, I have what's called an eye sesame tool um, it's just a thin piece of metal that you can use. Um, you have to be very careful with these because it's very easy to damage something. You can also use uh, something like a spludger where you can get it, kind of pry in here and get it. So it's rubber, it'll break before you break the laptop, which is kind of what you want if you're uh, a little bit lacking on experience. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the right side. You could start on the left if you want to. That's all personal preference and I'm just slightly and carefully prying it up around the edges. Try to get it more in center frame here. And you're gonna get a pop. The pop is going to be the clip releasing on the top of the laptop casing. Just carefully go around the edges. I recommend using just the edge, don't go to the corners. The corners are pretty hard to pry on and there's not really a clip in the corner. Um, so don't worry about prying on in these exact corners. You can work around their edges to get this casing to come up. All right, so I've worked around all the edges here and I now have it kind of lifting. However, it's still, you can feel it resisting in the back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try to work my way in here just a little bit with my hand and see if I can't get my tool to kind of slip in this little crack in the back. I might not have to. If I'm nice and careful, I might be able to get it to lift. There we go. So I didn't even have to use the tool for that. You just kind of use it and use your leverage to pull it straight up. And then I'm going to let that side go. I'm going to then move over to the right side and I'm going to then lift this side up. So kind of follow the, follow the edge and then lift it up until it pops out. Okay, so now I've gotten to the point where there is something still holding it, but I'm getting a little bit closer now to getting it apart. 
so the left and right side are loose, but in the middle right here, this little fan grate is still holding me right in the hinge. So the next stage of what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the laptop very carefully. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and tilt it up like this. So I can go ahead and see inside the crack underneath here. So you can see, it's really hard to see in the camera, unfortunately. I wish I could do better with that. Um, but it's separated here on the right side as well as the left side. But you can see it's holding in the middle. There's a little plastic clip. So I'm going to take my little iSesame tool and I'm going to put it in the little crease. And I'm just going to run it along. And then it went ahead and popped loose. So now I can see it's all, all open here. So now I can go ahead and put the computer back down on its feet. Open it back up. And then I'm just going to carefully lift. Oh, I'm going to turn it off first because they love to turn themselves on when you open them up. I'm going to carefully lift up on it. Now I'm going to stop here. I'm barely hovering. I am barely uh, barely have lifted it up at all. I'm going to move it towards me. I'm going to just slide. The reason for this is the cable connecting your mouse pad as well as your keyboard uh, are connected still. So now to remove these connectors, all I'm going to do is take the uh, plastic piece closest to the connect or the cable side, I'm just going to flip it up. You just grab it with your finger, just like this, and then you flick it up. And then I can carefully grab this cable. This cable here for the mouse pad, that's the smaller one, it is glued to the battery, which is this black block on the bottom. So run your finger underneath the cable here, gently pulling up with even amount of force across the cable, and it's going to start popping up from the glue and then you have it free. And that one's free. The second one is the keyboard cable, that's the much larger one. Flip this clip up here and then it'll just pop out. That one's not glued down. And then here you have successfully removed the keyboard. Inside you can see you have your wireless card, battery is in the middle, as well as this bus that runs to the other side for your, um, for your SD card I believe. Yes, for your SD card controller here. And then I believe this one here is for a SIM card, from my knowledge. This is the, the LTE activated one. Uh, finally, whenever you're working on the computer, uh, past what I have done, I recommend removing the battery connector. The connector is right here. It's right in the middle. Grab it with both sides of your fingernails, quickly remove it. And then the standby light on the right side will stop blinking. So that has no power on the board whatsoever. It's completely powered off. As the Chromebook never really goes and shuts down like a normal Windows PC, this way you can go ahead and get it to make sure it's not gonna short itself out. All right, so that's as much as I have here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together and see if I have fixed the keyboard issue as well as the mouse issue. Now to reseat the cables, I have gone ahead and gotten a firm grip, uh, grip on the actual cable and make sure that when I'm putting it into the slot nice and carefully here, I'm applying a, a solid amount of pressure and then I put the clip down. That makes sure that the cable is not loose in any way, um, which is a very important thing, especially if you were checking to make sure that your mouse pad wasn't disconnected. You don't want it to be loose or else it's going to still do the same thing. Uh, for the keyboard, uh, do the exact same thing, except you're going to kind of just pinch the entire entire uh, assembly. So I'm going to line it up like this and then use my finger like this. I'm pushing pressure this way, so that way I can keep it in the clip. And then I'm going to go ahead and close the clip. Alright, so that's that. Battery is still disconnected. This is the part that I don't like about this computer. Whenever you plug the battery in, make sure that you're not touching anything on the board because as soon as you plug the battery in, the computer will turn itself on immediately. I didn't have to hit a power button or anything. I don't like that at all, uh, but that is just what it does. So I'm laying it back out here. Mouse pad is now actually working, uh, but it doesn't seem to have fixed the keyboard issue for my case. Some of you might have a different result. Um, feel free to share your results down in the comment section below, uh, otherwise, or any kind of questions that you might have. Um, otherwise, that was it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave any kind of feedback or like the video, share it to your friends if you found it interesting. Um, 
and I do hope that your repairs are as successful as mine have been so far. Thank you.